So if I got a big sign of, of uh, Benedict and then put the banner Nazi Pope. I got the St. Patty's Day tape here to put okay. the eviction notice on the door. <laughs> Kevin, do you want to read it? Why don't you read no, it? We're gonna make it. I'm gonna. Yeah, you gotta read. Yeah, okay, cool. But we're gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure all the questions. Oh yeah. 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 Rita, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Further down, yeah. You left the standing Oh my god, holy. Thank you. As of today, March 16th, the Roman Catholic, Anglican, and United Churches of Canada, operating in the territory of the Squamish Nation, have been ordered permanently off that territory by Chief Capilano under the authority of his traditional tribal law. Chief Capilano has evicted these churches from his territory because of their illegal trespass and occupation of his land. Their failure to pay his nation rent or acknowledgement for more than a century, their responsibility for the deaths of thousands of children in their Indian residential schools, and their refusal to return the bodies of these children and surrender those responsible for their deaths. This eviction notice gives these churches 72 hours to remove their belongings from the nearly 300 buildings owned and operated by them in Squamish territory, which encompasses all of Vancouver and the North Shore and outlying territories. After this three-day period, all of us, Chief Capilano and his allies, will peacefully occupy and take over these buildings and open them as sanctuaries for the homeless and for hungry people. Therefore, as of 10 a.m. this Wednesday, March 19th, the buildings of the three corporations known as the Roman Catholic Church, the Anglican Church of Canada, and the United Church of Canada will belong to the Squamish Nation, and these church corporations will no longer be recognized by us. This eviction notice also empowers me, Kevin and Eagle Strong Voice, and all of us here to take this measure of occupation and to conduct on this territory an independent inquiry into the crimes in Indian residential schools, including by locating the buried remains of the children who died in these schools. As part of this inquiry, the church buildings like this one here will be, that will be occupied by Squamish Nation members will be open to the public as a venue for the convening of this independent inquiry, yeah. to which we will invite international observers and the media in order to share our findings. 
Finally, it is the aim of this campaign to bring to justice those persons responsible for the crime against humanity known as the Indian residential school system. And therefore, we will be establishing indigenous courts of justice on Squamish Nation territory, where those accused of such crimes will be brought for trial and sentencing. The white parents will not do this, we have to do it. We take these actions as a clear declaration of our sovereignty as a nation, for the cause of final justice and for the healing of all nations burdened by the legacy of genocide. We therefore call upon all people of conscience to join us in this struggle, under the guidance of a loving and just creator to whom we commit our lives and our mutual honor. Now we're going to go into the church peacefully. We're not going to disrupt anything because according to their law, they can arrest us if we disrupt one of their church services. Even though just, they disrupted all of our services in the indigenous religion for many centuries, they're protecting themselves. So we're not going to give them the opportunity to stop us. We're going to go in there peacefully, we're going to stand there and make a witness, and we're going to issue them the eviction notice. I'm going to like hand to it to the man up front. Yeah. I'm very good at witnessing things, you know. Are we witnessing? Hey, right on. Hey, Sean. This is so beautiful. I got there a quarter after, and then I had to wait for these girls. <laughs>
Conscience.
to even answer a letter about what happened to their victims. So we came in here in a spirit of righteous anger to come in and say, you don't belong in this land anymore. Your time is gone. You have to get off this land. We'll be back next week to enforce this order. Now, 
if I'm caught with stolen goods in my prop, uh, in my possession, they take me to jail. How come this isn't being done here? What? Not only this here, we have thousands of our people that died, spilled our blood for Canada. In fact, the Native Indians won Canada for Canada. If they didn't win it for the Europeans, they won it for the Native people. Yeah. And I want to make this here perfectly clear. It's been untold ever since I could walk on this uh, on this Turtle Island. And my grandfather's his red jacket. They won on the League of Nations, and they fought and died for this land, and we own it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm William Arnold. I'm witness to a lot of uh, things. Kevin, the police are here. Okay. Kevin, the police just came. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But anyway, um, I witnessed a lot of things in the United States. The murder, the killing, the burial, you name it. I Speak up, William. It. And um, it's true. It's true. Truth will prevail over the lies because they are liars. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? They were stuck with it. They were stupid. You know? I mean, they, 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 they don't know which way they're going to go. But when I die and they die, they've been in a bomb because I'm going to take their ass. That's the church. Ha! Huh? You know? So, you better get stuck there. Good stuff. Thanks, William. It's William. You did good. Chief Capilano of the Squamish Nation. Ladder! I'm only doing what should have been done a long time ago. I'm one of the survivors of the Catholic school. They used controlled drowning and they used every method to shut me up. And I'm still here and I'm going to be here for a long time. We've got to stand up and put these people out. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah to really take back this place and open it up. All the people sleeping out here at night, all the people are hungry. They're moving in. They're yeah. Why is this place locked at night? Yeah. We need to open this place up. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to rely on them to do anything anymore. We're going to do it ourselves. So we need your numbers back here. All right. Yeah. Come back here next Sunday especially, because this is a symbolic Sunday where they celebrate the resurrection of Christ. We're going to celebrate the resurrection of this nation, the Squamish nation. Woo! Yeah! Suffered at their hands. So we need you back here next Sunday at 10 a.m. to enact this eviction order. Thank you. Spread the word, brothers. And why are you protecting them? They're the ones that killed the children. And then you protect them. Get out of the way, sweet.
Well, as I mentioned, uh, this morning in Toronto at an Anglican church, Aboriginal women were assaulted inside the church building when they tried to unfurl a banner like this. They got attacked by church members because they were simply asking the church what happened to the children who died in their Indian residential school. So we're here to say that we're not waiting for the churches anymore. We're evicting them from this territory in the name of Hereditary Chief Capilano of the Squamish Nation. This land you're standing on right now, there used to be really quick trees right here. Areas where the bear and the deer lived and they were hunted by the squamish. Right where you're standing was where the deer were standing. The decimated them by 90%. This land is taken and stolen and never legally ceded to white people. So you've said all of these buildings are illegal squatter. Churches up the street. Church, uh, Senators Wesley, so we're evicting the third, we're issuing the third eviction. 